Pole Academy. Always with you. And the next question in is in applied science section is which of the following is a supplementary unit in SI system? The right answer is option three. That is radian. What is this radian? Plane angle with a vertex at a center of a circle that is a subtended by an arc equal in length to be to the radius. So that is a radian. So next question is. The main scale on a slide caliper. Don't confuse. The slide caliper is nothing but a vernier caliper. Okay. The main scale of a slide caliper is divided into millimeter. The length of a vernier is 19 mm and is divided into 20 equal parts. The least count is the right answer is option D. That is 0.05 centimeter. So, so this least count is obtained. We know the least count that is one minus so total length divided by number of divisions equal parts that is nineteen divided by twenty. So then one term will get it divided minus. So then it will be zero point zero five mm. So please note that so the whatever divisions are given it is in terms of mm. So the answer you will get it. It will be in terms of mm. That is zero point zero five mm. You will get it. Then again you have to convert that into Centimeter only news just zero point zero five. If you take it and if you mark the option C, then it is a wrong. So when you convert that zero point zero five mm into centimeter, then it will becomes zero point zero zero five centimeter. So the right answer is option D. And the next question is which of the which one of the following is not a vector quantity? The right answer is option three. That is C. That is speed is a Not a vector quantity. Now, what is a vector quantity? It is a physical quantity which has both direction as well as magnitude. For example, displacement, torque, acceleration, force. So these all are having have both direction as well as magnitude. So the speed is a right answer. The next question is the magnitude of a resultant of a two forces P and Q acting in a same line and in opposite direction is the right answer is. option b that is p minus q and the next question is the two forces 3 newton and 5 newton are acting at a point making an angle 60 degree the magnitude of a resultant is the right answer is option 3 that is 7 newton so this 7 newton is obtained by using a law of parallelogram of force that is 3 square plus 5 square plus 2 into 3 into 5 into cos 60 so then root whole rest root so if you simplify that you will get a resultant force 7 newton the next question is the torque produces the right answer is obviously rotational motion the next question is which one of the following is not related to couple the right answer is kicking of football so the kicking of football is not considered or not a related to couple so what is this couple a couple in mechanics is a pair of equal parallel forces that are opposite in direction the only effect of couple is produced or to prevent a turning of a body so here kicking of football it's only one sided so so we cannot considered as in a couple the next question is within elastic limit the stress the right answer is option 3 that is directly proportional to strain this can be defined by using a hooke's law so i guess the hooke's law states that the stress is directly proportional to strain within the elastic limit so that is a hooke's law so the right answer is option 3 the next question is the length of a wire increased by 1% on suspending a load of 2 newton from it the tensile strain in the wire is so the right answer is option One that is zero point zero one. So the node is nowhere related to our tensile strain. So what is the definition for tensile strain? It is nothing but change in length to original length. So that is your strain. So here the load is nowhere considered as. But the change in the the percentage of increase in the wire the length of a wire is given. That is one percent. So one divided by hundred. So that will be. 0.01 so that will be 0.01 is a first option that is your right answer the next question is the pressure at any point inside a liquid 
the right answer is increases with the depth that is option b so at any point inside the liquid the pressure exerted by the liquid is directly proportional to its depth from the free surface so however you go inside the pressure will be more and more it will build more pressure so the pressure at any point inside the liquid increases with the depth from the free surface the next question is the pressure of the bottom of a swimming pool 20 meter wide and water and the water 2 meter deep the density is given so that is the density of water 1000 kg per meter cube and uh, g he has given that is 10 meter per square now in this one we need to calculate the pressure at the bottom of a swimming pool so here so only we require the depth then uh, the density then gravity now that can be identified by using the equation pressure will be equals to rho g into h where rho is a density g is a gravitational constant h is a height height means depth of in a water now h is uh, given already 2 meter uh, density is there 1000 and g is uh, 10 so if you multiply all together you will get 20000 pascal but here it is 20000 means 20 into 10 raised to 3 your right answer is option d that is 20 into 10 raised to 3 pascal the next question is in the in the case of liquids the temperature increases the surface tension generally the right answer is option 2 that is decreases so in general the surface tension decreases when the temperature increases because the cohesive force decreases with an increase of molecular thermal activity so there will be decrease in the surface tension when there is an increase in the temperature the next question is the property of a liquid to oppose the relative motion between the two different or different layers is called the right answer is viscosity so viscosity is nothing but a uh, the resistance to the motion or resistance to the deformation at a given rate for a fluid so that is clearly given it is a opposite to opposes the relative motion so the right answer is viscosity the next question is the expression for the coefficient of viscosity is where if f is a viscous force a is a area v is a difference in the velocity x is a distance between two layer the right answer is option c that is mu is equal to fx divided by av minus fx divided by av so the degree to which so what is this coefficient of viscosity it is the degree to which the fluid resists the flow under an applied force so measured by the uh, tangential frictional force per unit area and divided by the velocity gradient under the condition of stream flow so velocity gradient is uh, given that is a uh, v is a velocity gradient difference in the velocity so it is given and uh, under the streamline flow so where it is flowing in a uh, rigid area so that is the this is a right answer that is option 3 the next question is the express the expression that represents the charles law the right answer is option 4 that is vt divided by constant v is a volume t is a temperature c is a constant term now according to charles law the volume of in a given mass of in a gas varies directly with its absolute temperature when absolute volume kept constant so that is a charles law definition so with that definition i can form a relation vt divided by equals to constant the next question is the pressure of in a gas at 27 degree celsius in one atmospheric pressure so it is given t1 is given p1 is given keeping the volume constant if the temperature is raised to 60 degree then its pressure will be i need to identify p2 here it is this is t1 this is p1 and this is t2 i need to identify p2 the right answer is option 3 that is 2.2 atmospheric pressure so this can be obtained by using pv equals to nrt relation now p is equals to nrt divided by v now we know that p is directly proportional to temperature if temperature changes obviously pressure will changes so then i can form an equation that is p1 that is p2 divided by p1 will be equal to t2 divided by t1 already i have p1 and t1 and 
T2 I have by substituting all the values you will get 2.2 atmospheric pressure that is your pressure. The next question is the hot water at 80 degree, cel 80 degree Celsius will exchange heat with the surrounding maintained at 25 degree till the temperature of water becomes. So this is a quite a tricky question. So when compared to all the questions I found this question is very tricky. Because uh, this can be analyzed in two different ways but I guess the right answer is option D that is 25 degree. Some people can write this and they can select this answer that is 85 minus 25 they select as option C. But some people can uh, take a difference and uh, divide it and whichever nearer value they will get it they can mark that option. But I guess the right answer is option D because he has said that hot water is at 80 degree Celsius will exchange heat with the surrounding which is maintained at 25 degree Celsius. Please note that. So he has given 25 degree. So that is atmospheric condition. So we know that when temperature of an a cup means just a, I will take an example to explain because this is very tricky question. I guess most of his student will mark a wrong answer here. The when I take a cup of hot tea in a glass and if I kept it for a, some time in the room on a table. So after some time it will attains the room temperature. So the right answer is option D. So many I think many students have uh, asked me so, so they have uh, marked the option C that is wrong answer. The right answer is option D that is 25 degree Celsius. The next question is the radiator in automobiles works on the principle of the very simple question. The right answer is convection. So what is this convection? We have three types of an uh, heat uh, heat transfer modes that is conduction convection and radiation so the all the radiators works on the convection means they need some fluid to transfer the heat energy so either it might be gas or liquid but in radiator what we use we use some coolants or waters we water we use so that is absorbed the heat is absorbed by this water so it is the right answer is convection the next question is in the expression CP minus CV is equals to R, the notation R represents a very simple question. The right answer is option C that is universal gas constant. So what is this universal gas constant? It is a difference between the specific heat at pressure, constant pressure and specific heat at constant volume. So that will give us a R that is a uh, universal gas con constant and value R value will be equals to 8.31450 joules per kelvin per mole so that is a value of r the last question in applied science section is the physical quantity that represents the energy of mechanical wave is the right answer is option a that is wavelength even i have a bit doubt in this one so but i guess the right answer is option one that is a wavelength is a right answer but so we'll see the key answer but i guess the right answer will be the option a so hope uh, you have got all the 40 answers in this video. So if you find or if you feel that any answers I have given or I have marked wrong. So you can comment it uh, so that I can rectify the mistakes. Because I, as per my knowledge I have given 100% uh, correct answers in this one. So still we should uh, check the official key answers from the KEA or DT. Okay. So till that hope for the best. So in the soon in the next videos I will uh, solve the maths maths question so so you get to stay tuned with us so stay connected so that you can get the answers from mathematics section also and other branch core subjects also I will give the answers click on subscribe button and press the bell icon to get updates from all academy